never too soon to learn, and that's a healthy lesson for Amanda Collier's baby, Grady. Amanda learned from her mother about the benefits of early strawberries. Hi, my name is Amanda, and this is Grady, and we're here to show you a really good way to use all of the fresh strawberries that you can find at local farmer's markets and pick your own places across the state of Tennessee this time of year. I'm going to go ahead and give Grady a strawberry because he'll get kind of ill if I don't. <laughs> so we're going to take our strawberries. We'll add some banana um, just to sweeten it. Sometimes strawberries are a little tart and I like to add banana to all of my smoothies to make sure that it's good and sweet. We're putting in about six strawberries, half a banana, and we're going to take about a half to three quarters of a cup of yogurt and put that in. Your favorite plain uh, yogurt for a baby you don't really want to use non-fat because they don't really need to watch their waistline and it's good to give them those good fats to help them with brain development. So I'm just going to pop this on here and give it a little bit of a whir. Since Grady is teething right now, we like to make popsicles. Put them in the freezer, and within eight hours, we'll have some nice, sweet popsicles. Do you want a popsicle? Have a great summer from Live Green, Tennessee. Thanks. Is that good?